G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back with Beck O'Reilly for some more Reboot Your Bridge with Beck. And today we're going to cover some more of sort of bidding sort of stuff. Last week we covered sort of uh, planning the play, where are the cards, and uh, suit combinations. This time more bidding focus, but we'll jump straight in and start off with uh, Beck playing a free day long tournament. So, off you go. Talk us through. Yeah, just week two. Mm -hmm. And I have seven, eight, nine, fourteen. So what are your uh, thoughts? You know, there's five spades, so you could just bid spades. You could double, but I don't know. What's... So this hand clearly sort of fits into sort of like either a two spade bid or a double. Yeah. There might be some other options available, but they're the two most common ones. I kind of, I think I like two spades. Go okay, for it. That didn't go very well. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> what if I double now? What does that do? Still take up. was a wimp. <laughs> How'd they only bid four clubs with that hand? <laughs> okay, so... Talk us through your plan. Um, I have a heart loser. And... Three spade losers. Yep. How can you get rid of the spade so losers? we can pretty easily rough them, I think. Mm -hmm. So how many tricks do you reckon you're going to make? Um, probably, five. <laughs> probably five clubs. Well, you're only losing the one half, right? Yeah. So we'll we'll see. Win the, king first. win the king first. But with the robots, it's really weird that when you try and claim, if you're not winning the trick, it makes you concede all the tricks, but you can yeah. claim now. Okay. Making plus two. Seems a little bit too easy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just those skills of counting the <laughs> Yeah, got the rest. You love being able to check exactly do, what yeah. it is, just for like precise. Ooh, okay. 17. If there's something oh. on there that's not exactly right and what's in my head, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't think I can bid that. <laughs> Let's try that. But that said 17. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. Alright. Okay. Four clubs again. <laughs> Don't you know how to respond to Gerber? It's not Gerber. <laughs> it's not Gerber. <laughs> it was Gerber and stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So. so what's your plan? I don't know, I can lose three, so... Lose a heart. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> good thing that you've done here is you're actually planning from the long trump hand, which is really good. Most people just sort of sit there and go, but it's my hand. <laughs> yeah. How likely is it that uh, you think the spade finesse is working? Um, 
unlikely, seeing as West was the one that bid. <laughs> But if you can't come up with any other better plan, then... <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna all again and just see what happens. Who needs a plan? <laughs> Who needs a plan? <laughs> not not the toughest defense I've found so far. What can you do at this I stage? Think, um, draw trumps. And the jack's a winner now, isn't it? Yep. What can you do with your spade loser? Um, throw it on the king. Cool. I'll draw trumps first. Clubs are out. <laughs> One. Yeah. Yeah. I just kept drawing trumps because probably I've already lost my three tricks, haven't I? Mm -hmm. mm. I liked your moment of panic before yeah. realizing <laughs> that you just had the rest of the yeah. tricks. It was before I realised they played all the diamonds at the start and <laughs> mine were the only ones left. Yeah. Where did we get there in the end? Oh, there's still one more card to play. Oh, the finesse did work. It mm. did work, yeah. <laughs> um, so, 7, 14, 19. So I, I, I do this all the time, but I just love that, oh god, I've, <laughs> I need to start again. <laughs> um, so one thing that you're doing here in the counting is you've gone two spades, three hearts, three clubs, and a diamond. Yeah. Um, but what I like to do with counting winners is count the winners that we can take straight away. Okay, so you can't take the heart. Yeah, and by realising that you can't do that, then that tells you what you actually have okay. to focus on. For another one, if they split. Oh, someone pitches one. <laughs> well, someone pitches one. Yeah. Probably means that they were splitting. No? No, they really just <laughs> dumped a trick <laughs> there. <laughs> they just really wanted me to make more tricks. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
So because they're playing two over one, one no yeah. trump can be up to an eleven count. So now that they're ten or eleven points. Do we think that they're actually balanced when they have two spades? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've made this, like, assumption before, and the answer's probably no, <laughs> but they could be balanced. I really love playing three new trumps. No. Although I didn't win four new trumps, four spades. I'm just going to do that to see what happens. It's probably going to go badly. Hey, no, two they, spades. They had what they promised. <laughs> loser, two club losers, and some remaining in the hand, probably. Yep, so um, how can you get rid of one? You can finesse a spade, maybe, or you can try and see if diamonds split through three. can't do anything about the club loser, but if they play ace, king, queen, might yep. be a pinch. <laughs> so, like, usually looking at human opponents, this would be somewhat revealing information, but the <laughs> robots just, like, pick random cards, okay. mostly. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Uh, she just wasted the beer. It was like the easiest <laughs> beer you could have made. It, just exit the club, take your two sp just throwing it away. Just throwing it away. Like I could have claimed. <laughs> yeah. How do you reckon you're going so far? Oh, it's going okay. I made all the contracts. <laughs> the board one wasn't very good. The robot decided not to bid very high. Yeah. On that one. Um, 12. One spot. Um, two spades. Mm -hmm. Three spade losers. That's a good start. <laughs> a hard loser. Mm -hmm. And two diamond losers. That's one too many. What can you do about them? <laughs> um, can hope that West has an ace of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Try and crash some spade on it. Yeah. So that they can't win three separate tricks. <laughs> um. So, if you wanted to get people to crash spade on us, how would you go about doing that other than just hoping? <laughs> win in this hand and then play on I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Not really, it's, it's, it's just just play space and hope for the best. Yeah, it's 
so when trying to get people to crash on us, it's not something that's easy or there's like a def definite way to get it to happen. Mm. But like what I want to think about is if I lead a spade towards my Jack 10 9, Ace won't ever fly with an honor realistically. Yeah. So they're not going to crash on us if I lead from the north hand. If I lead the Jack out, West looking at Queen 3rd might put the Queen on it for whatever reason. So yeah. from this holding, I'll try leading the Jack out. Okay. Whereas if I had, say, the Jack in the north hand, then I would strongly consider leading the Jack because East with Queen 3rd might now yeah. cover an honour with an honour. The diamond lead's good for you. It is. Okay. I just have to lose one more space. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The other thing is there might be some outlandish squeeze that you can play. So if you play your nine of spades, <laughs> something good might happen. Your heart loose might, might vanish. Yeah. And you can throw the eight of diamonds away. <sighs> <laughs> Interested in game ops at that? So this is one of the ones where I don't actually expect the robot to have that hand. <laughs> like they might, but there's so many more hands that would have like four hearts or something and just want to bid three hearts to play. Yeah. As soon as you do that, they'll have that hand, <laughs> of course. He still has pretty much all the points. <laughs> How many points are missing? There's 12 in my hand, and there's 12 in the robot. Mm -hmm. So, 24, there's 16 missing. Yep. And he used to have, what, 12? Yep. So, West, like, maybe has an ace. <laughs> maybe has an ace. <laughs> or some queens, I think. Yep. Um, One minor thing is that this is actually a best hand tournament. So, East, while they're an opening hand, can't have more than 12 points. Okay. So West has to have at least four. At least four. Um, which probably isn't the ace of spades from the late. <laughs> no. <laughs> Be fairly sure ace has the ace of spades. Oh, yeah. But do you, if you play low, how many spade losers do you have? Um. Yeah, that's true. An extra one. Maybe. This way. Um. So you could have like the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Hearts. Of clubs. I don't know. What do you think West has? Um, 
Yeah, so I reckon West has four points. They probably have something in clubs. So maybe one of the club owners and one of the other queens. Um, Who do you reckon's got the queen of diamonds? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think back. Like the sixes. Hard to tell, but like, it's, would a switch away from the Queen of Diamonds looking at uh, that North Hand? Probably. But they would also switch to a diamond if they had a singleton diamond. Um, but I don't I mean, think. I have to lose a diamond anyway, so. Does it matter if I just put it onto the Jack and see? No. Nope. Unless they start getting roughs. So when Ace puts in the Queen of Clubs, who's mm -hmm. got the Jack? Um, probably West. Yeah, so from choosing right. the right honour when we're talking about if you had touching cards, Ace is the person being led to, they should be playing the Jack in that instance. Yeah. So we now know that West has the Queen of, Queen of Diamonds and Jack of Clubs. They might have the Jack of Spades or they might have the Queen of Hearts. Yeah. They got one of those two cards. Didn't get rough. That was <laughs> good. <laughs> Helpful. <laughs> Queen of Spades is good because okay. they won the ace the first time. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> All the trumps are gone. Yeah. Um, Fourteen. Dummy keeps coming down with like <sighs> pretty good dummies all the time. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what losers do you have? Where do you think the Ace of Diamonds is? Um, East. Yep. So we'll lose that one. <coughs> uh, what can we do about our spade losers? Um, rough them. Yep, we can trump two of them. So how many tricks do you reckon you'll make? Um, ten. Yep. I've had the Seven of Diamonds a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't used it though, have you? <laughs> Play the diamonds and pitch a spade and then lose 
on my spade. Yeah. So they could have taken two spades initially, but they didn't. So now we had an opportunity to get rid of one. What are your thoughts? What are you choosing between? Maybe one new trump, maybe double. I'm not really sure. <laughs> maybe pass. I think they're your yeah, three Passing choices. To the seems like the fun to do that, like to pass. Let's try one neutral. It's probably going to end badly. <laughs> Let's just do that. I think we'll pass that. So why do you choose a club compared to anything else? Um, well... They bid diamonds and spades, so they probably don't want to lead them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it was 50 between hearts and clubs. There was more clubs, so... How do you reckon you went? Um, it was okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out these provision <laughs> results. So you scored 56% last time. This time we're playing imps and you're plus 6, so that's pretty good. Um, we lost 4 imps on the first board, but then got it back on the second. And then sort of 4 imps for getting to 4 spades. And then the rest were pretty flat. Nothing too sensational either way in those boards, but let's just have a look at them one by one. So this one you're weighing up between like two spades and a takeout double. Um, other options that you might consider is there might be some sort of Michaels bit available, um, but where you can show clubs and spades, but I'm not sure if the robots do that. Um, there's a convention called Leaping Michaels. I don't think this hand's good enough for it anyway, so I'd rule that out. Then I don't want to double because I don't want partner to pass, so I'd bid two spades and then just follow it up with a double, and I'd expect my partner to bid five clubs, if not more. 
Oh, so, I did the same and blamed the robot. Uh, <laughs> foot two, this one's okay. Um, you could consider making a take up double over two hearts, which would have failed miserably because you partnered with diamonds instead. So that worked well. Um, pretty simple one to play that uh, when Wes couldn't get their partner on laid, they cashed the ace of hearts, so that was all good. Uh, okay. Board three. Yeah, so here a club, a heart, and two no, three no. The auction was all pretty simple. We had to knock out the ace of hearts. And then when ace returned to diamond, we had to guess whether or not to run the diamond or not. Yeah. But it's probably worthwhile playing low and playing east for the king of diamonds. Uh, the reason being is, even when clubs came good, we still had one more loser left in the end. So if east hadn't led away from the king of diamonds, we, we lose that trick anyway. When they have, then the clubs come good, we might make uh, one more trick as well. Yeah. <laughs> so like, the, the, trying to work out uh, is it safe to play for more tricks and what's the cost to it? So we we're going to get two spade tricks, we we're going to get uh, three heart tricks for five, we we're up to two diamond tricks for seven, and three club tricks for ten. If clubs break three three, we're up to eleven anyway. But there's nowhere that twelfth trick was going, we we're just going to lose yeah. the spade. So because of that, you could play low and hope for um, ace to let away from the king of diamonds. Here, yeah, this one was, yeah, bid really well, um, played well. Uh, our main hopes, first the spade finesse, we want to do that. And then secondly, see if diamonds break. Or, because we've got the ten of diamonds, we can also handle the jack of diamonds falling in two rounds. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure we keep that ten as just a extra option. Board five, two spades making two uh, was good. Um, one extra option that you had in the play of how to get rid of losers, which I wouldn't have taken, is on the ten of clubs lead, if we thought that West had the queen, we can win the king of clubs and then play a club towards the jack. With that finesse working, we can throw a heart away. The issue is, if that fails, we can't get back to the north hand necessarily. Um, just check how the play went. So club, we won a spade, and they returned another club. Yeah, so there's no way we would finesse because we don't know if we can get back. If the king of diamonds had been set up by now, then you could happily take the finesse because yeah. if the finesse fails, we can just throw the heart on the ace of clubs anyway. Um, and here, three hearts making three. Uh, this one was good. Um, took all our tricks that we could actually hope for. Not much more to that one. Uh, here, um, club heart, double, a spades, uh, fine. Another option, which I wouldn't take on this one, but uh, you could consider is just passing. Mm -hmm. When ace doubles, you can pass if your hand's particularly bad, so uh, th this one's just normal to bid a spade, but if you didn't like your hand, you could try doing uh, something like that. And it was well spotted to throw the spade away to make 12, uh, 11. And here, the tough choice. Do you, <laughs> do you pass, bid a no trump, or make a take out double? Uh, so these are three choices. The, the normal bid on this hand would just be to pass. Mm -hmm. uh, the take out double would show four clubs and four hearts. A no trump, 15 to 18, you've only got 14. Uh, I occasionally stretch into a no trump, <laughs> but when they open and respond, that's not really a spot where you have to stretch. Yeah. If you're the second person to act, your chances of game are a fair bit higher. Um, the takeout double is another potential choice. Um, hearts is a playable spot, so I don't mind a takeout double. I don't mind passing. One no trump isn't too far off, but I wouldn't go uh, this time. And then about the lead, um, you don't want to leave a spade or a diamond, but um, I don't like underleading aces against suit contracts, so I would just try yeah, to Yeah, I forgot it was a suit contract. <laughs> <laughs> Some reason I thought they were playing in no trump. So Probably because <laughs> you thought about bidding no trump so yeah. long and then... Yeah. No trump is not like that. And 
in the play of it, uh, you ducked the ace of diamonds a couple of times. I probably would have won it on the second time they played diamonds. So, diamond. Yeah, I kind of still thought we were playing a no jump, and then they, then I realised after that. Yeah. That was when we were playing it <laughs> <a> too. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But they had the third diamond, so it was okay. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so at that point, I would have yeah. hopped up with the ace. Uh, but ducking the first one's good. Anyway, uh, that was the free day long tournament uh, played by Bex. So, nice one. so we'll uh, wrap that one up there and then we'll get into talking about uh, some different bidding.